Good evening. Today is Monday in the 23rd week. In ordinary time, our evening prayer begins on page 491. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, save us from double standards and divided hearts and give us light and life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our hymn this evening is Foss Hilleron, found on page 735. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by joyful voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all creation. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 119. I am worn out waiting for your rescue, but I put my hope in your word. My eyes are strained to see your promises come true. When will you comfort me? I am shriveled like a wineskin in the smoke, but I have not forgotten to obey your decrees. How long must I wait? When will, your, when will you punish those who persecute me? These arrogant people who hate your instructions have dug deep pits to trap me. All your commands are trustworthy. Protect me from those who hunt me down without cause. They almost finished me off, but I refuse to abandon your commandments. In your unfailing love, spare my life. Then I can continue to obey your laws. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the epistle of James. Don't speak evil against each other, dear brothers and sisters. If you criticize and judge each other, then you are criticizing and judging God's laws. But your job is to obey the law, not to judge whether it applies to you. God alone who gave the law is the judge. He alone has the power to save or to destroy. So what right do you have to judge your neighbor? You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. We lift our spirits to you as we seek humility, serenity, and peace. We lift our minds to you, as we long for your gifts of hope and consolation. We lift our hearts to you as we rely on your faithfulness. We lift our lives to you as we consecrate ourselves ever more fully to you. And we lift up all that we shall one day become as we pray for the fullness of your kingdom to be revealed. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of power and might, your magnificent work inspired us and gave us strength. So too does the gentle presence of your spirit as the day draws to its close and the night beckons us to rest. Be with us tonight and refresh us so that we will be ready to arise tomorrow to live in our lives the gospel of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a lie to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>